Dawnbreak Soldier Beatrix. Passive Mechanical Genius. Beatrix's extraordinary talent for mechanics has allowed her to produce four weapons of truly awe-inspiring firepower. First weapon, Renner, which alters Beatrix's basic attack to long shot, which allows her to fire a powerful shot in the enemy's current direction, dealing damage to the first target hit. Second weapon, Bennett, which alters Beatrix's basic attack to area bombing, which allows her to bombard a target location dealing damage to enemies in that area and slowing them down. Third weapon, Wesker, which alters Beatrix's basic attack to proximity advantage, which allows her to fire five shots at the target, each dealing damage to the enemy hit. Fourth weapon, Nibiru, which alters Beatrix's basic attack to rapid fire, which allows her to let loose a volley of four shots, each dealing damage to the enemy hit. When Beatrix is out of combat, she can cast her special skill, need backup to choose two of her weapons as her primary and secondary weapons. Beatrix cannot crit and converts the crit chance gained into physical attack. First skill, Masterful Gunner. Beatrix can carry two weapons at once and increase her physical attack. Casting Masterful Gunner allows Beatrix to swap her primary and secondary weapons, giving her a whole new way to attack and ultimate. Second skill, Tactical Reposition. Beatrix slides forward and fully reloads her current weapon. First ultimate, Renner's Apathy. Beatrix calmly sets up Renner and takes aim. When releasing the skill, she deals physical damage to the first enemy hit. Renner's shot can penetrate minions. Second ultimate, Bennett's Rage. Beatrix focuses her rage and has Bennett rain down a bombardment in the target area multiple times. Each bombardment deals physical damage to enemies hit and slows them down. Third ultimate, Wesker's Elation. Beatrix raises Wesker and fires off ultra bullets that deal physical damage to the enemy hit. Fourth ultimate, Nibiru's Passion. Beatrix squeezes the trigger to greet oncoming enemies with volleys from Nibiru, each volley dealing physical damage to the enemy hit. In the laning phase, we recommend using Renner as Beatrix's primary weapon and Wesker as her secondary weapon. She can use Renner's ranged basic attack to poke the enemy and her second skill to reload and fire again. She can then switch to Wesker to finish off the target enemy. enemy. For team fights, we recommend using Bennett as Beatrix's primary weapon and Nibiru as her secondary weapon. During a team fight, Beatrix can use Bennett's ultimate to strike the enemy team. Then she can use her first skill to switch to Nibiru and cast Nibiru's ultimate to attack the enemy. She can finish off the enemy heroes with her basic attacks and her second skill. Beatrix has four unique weapons that give her the ability to react flexibly to different situations. Choosing the right weapon for the right situation is therefore the key to mastering Beatrix. Upgrade Beatrix's second skill at level one. Then continue to prioritize upgrading her first skill as it will give her extra physical attack. Legendary kill. Beatrix can use her second skill to instantly reload her weapon when her bullets are about to run out, allowing her to continuously deal high damage. Each of Beatrix's weapon ultimates has an individual cooldown. After casting one of her ultimates, Beatrix can switch weapons with her first skill to use the other weapon's ultimate. Renner is great at poke enemy heroes from a distance. Bennett is great at clearing lanes and dealing AoE damage in team fights. Wesker is great at close range combat and burst damage. And Nibiru has great sustained damage after collecting a full equipment set. Hi, 
Claus's claws is Beatrix's core piece of equipment, as all of her weapons will benefit from the physical lifesteal bonus it provides. Build Rose Gold Meteor in the late game to further increase Beatrix's survivability. We recommend the Flicker Battle Spell for Beatrix. It can help her be more flexible in different situations. Beatrix is strong against heroes without movement abilities, as they can be easily hit by her skills, such as Hylos and Belleric. Beatrix is countered by high burst damage heroes with strong single target CC, as they can catch her with a CC and burst her down, such as Eudora and Link. Beatrix works best with tank heroes with good CC abilities, as they can help improve the accuracy of Beatrix's skills, like Kutra and Atlas. Use Renner and Wesker in the early game to deal damage at a safe distance and to be able to fend off enemies in the range. Use Nibiru and Bennett in the mid to late game as both weapons' ultimate can deal heavy AoE damage to enemy heroes in team fights. Then use Nibiru for sustained single target damage. Finish off the rest of the enemy heroes.